Alright, so my LG TV is not working. I'm getting this light right here. It just keeps blinking back and forth. It's been on for about an hour and it still hasn't turned on, so I'm going to hopefully remove the back and find out what's wrong with it. We'll see how that goes. Just for specs, I have an LG 47 inch model number 47LC. 7DF. Okay, I already looked, and there should be about 17 to 20 different screws on the sides. There's three on each side. There's four over here. There's two over here. You have to remember that there's also two over here inside where all the, the cables go. So don't forget those. And also, I'll probably take out the stand screws as well. I'm un unscrewing the. Um, the screws apparently this screw right here is super old I think they put an old screw and it's rounded off I can't take it off so I'm gonna try to figure out what to do next good job LG I managed to take off the uh, LCD panel um, that screw that was um, that screw that was messed up really wasn't important. I didn't even need to take it off. Here's the TV itself. Um, this was the bad screw. I guess it's the screw for the stand. I don't know. Anyways, what we're checking for is the capacitors. The capacitors are by the main board and in this case it's over here. That's what a capacitor looks like. These right here. Now the way you test if they're broken is if they're bubbled up. The top end will be flat. Hold on. This will be flat if it was working fine. And if not, it will be bubbled up like a dome or busted, as you can see. I think this one right here is busted. This one's busted. And I think even this one, this one feels a little bubbled up. Maybe I'll change them all. I got a little bubble right there too. So I got quite a few. I got one, two, three four capacitors that are busted I gotta change that thank god it's not this big one over here I should check the fuses but hopefully this will fix the problem now all we have to do is go to Radio Shack and replace them. the first thing you do is uh, remove all the, the wires that are connected to your main board take that one on, take that one on this one I need this last one come on All right, now you unscrew the main board. I'm gonna screw right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. We'll see All what's right, up. So these are the busted. These are the busted capacitors. That one, the spewing. That one's spewing stuff in it. This one's a little bulgy. Not too sure. This one is spewing too, and so is this one gonna change off it to remove them is you find where it goes which I hope is this one and uh, you just put the soldering iron on on the little tip real quick until it melts both sides and you pull them off and basically it just melts it off right, so I finally got the capacitors off there were these original ones right here the first one was the trickiest one because you learn how much you're supposed to burn it and how hard you're supposed to pull. So I pulled that out, now I'm putting in the new ones. These are much bigger, they can hack more, more volts, so I should be safer with these. TV should last longer. Now all I gotta do is put them on in the, in the slots that I took off, and we'll see how it goes from there. Place, once you got them in place, you should bend the legs so that they don't fall off on the other side. And what you basically do, Let's get your soldering iron and get the little stick over here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. But basically you're supposed to grab the little wire, put it against the little hole, and burn it together. And just burn them. Let's right. see how it goes. So I uh, put on the new capacitors, I soldered them on, which turned out not to be as easy as they looked. They show it on YouTube, it looks super easy, but I guess I'm an idiot. Anyways, now I'm just going to put everything back together and pray to God.
Alright, um, I just finished putting everything back together, and this is the, the moment of truth, basically. I'm going to get my cable over here and uh, connect it to my TV, and if I don't die, alright, let's see what happens. I don't think it's working. Oh, oh. Holy shit balls. Yes, it's working. There you have it folks. I just fixed the TV for under $40. I saved myself over $600 at the TV repair shop. There you have it folks. There you have it. Alright folks, ho hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, like I said, uh, the hardest part is just looking for the capacitors if you want them like right now. I fixed my TV in under 3 hours. Because I wanted it right now. I drove all over the place. Do not try Radio Shack. They do not have the radio. They do not have the capacitors. I found them in, a, in your basic electronic component store. And you know the, the components. The capacitors cost no more than two bucks a pop. So you know the what cost the most was the soldering iron. You know that's nothing. I saved myself about 500 bucks. 600 bucks. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot.